Today we're doing pork chops. Italian style. Oh, smothered in a buttery cherry pepper sauce. Oh, every bite is pure amore. <laughs> no, that is so true. It I is. love these pork chops. So I'm Chris. <laughs> and I'm Wesley. My favorite pork chop <laughs> That's right. We don't do enough pork chops. I'm so excited we're doing it today. So and these are, oh. These no. are th these are great. So let's talk about first of all, we these guys. These, this is an easy recipe. You just have to kind of plan that because is... you want these to sit in a brine, preferably for forty eight hours. I yeah. mean, you heard that right. Two days is great. Yeah. But once you've done that, then all of the heavy lifting is done. So all let right. me tell you about this brine. Oh, do you want me to take these? Yeah, out go ahead and pull while those. you're talking about. Yeah, while I'm... Here's the brine, y'all. There it is. That's the brine, y'all. I'm gonna take these out. While so he's yeah, about just it. carefully take those out. I got it. Um, so the, the brine is first. You're gonna get just like a medium sized bowl and you're going to add, you need to get some warm water. All I do, I get a cup of water, I put it in the measuring cup and then just nuke it until it's it's warm. Don't get it boiling hot and then pour it in your bowl and then you're gonna, it's going to help dissolve three tablespoons of brown sugar, light or dark, and three tablespoons of kosher salt. And then you just whisk that around until it's it's dissolved. Then to that, we need to cool it off. So we're gonna add two cups of cool or room temperature water. And then we're going to add anywhere from eight to 10 whole peppercorns. They can be either black or green. I happen to, I can't believe I didn't have black ones on hand, but I had green ones, so green works great too. And then we're going to add, uh, take an onion and thinly slice it, add that, and then you're gonna take two whole cloves of garlic, smash them with the side of a, a knife or something just to smash them, put those in, and then we're gonna add three whole cloves, yum, a bay leaf, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, and then a whole cinnamon stick. Those flavors, it's, it has kind of like an autumnal flavor oh, to it. Oh, it's so good. It's Hold just on, so let me pat these for a little bit. And then, so these, these chops that we've got, uh, they are loin pork, uh, loin, loin chops. Um, they're really flavorful, really, really good. I love to do them with the bone in. You can do either way. Uh, today, it's, so we're just feeding the two of us, so we're just doing yes. two. But this recipe really is ideal for four chops. Did you finish talking about no, the No, anyway, so, right, so then you're going you're gonna to get your chops. Uh, you're going to put them in, and I just put them in a nice big old baggie like this. If you, you could put them in a dish, but a baggie is so easy to work with. And uh, then you carefully, hopefully you have a loon to help you pour that <laughs> yeah. brine into the bag, squeeze the air out, zip it up, and then forget it for a couple of days. Uh, you could do this certainly oh, for um, 24 hours, and it's still going to be super delicious. But two, two, we have found two days, it just... It makes them tender. The flavor is really, really good. What's yeah. Wrong? No, my nose was itching. Oh, okay. So all right. then now, now, so the loon's taking those out. He's patted them off dry. I got them all dry. Yes. And, and now I'm going to throw them in your pan. Yeah, yeah. So is yeah. that hot enough? It, it's, it is. I is should, it going to do should, the sizz or no? We probably won't because I should have put the oil in there. <laughs> okay. But anyway, there it goes. Oh, there's a sizz. sizz. Um, so we're going to want to just sear these babies uh, for about four minutes per side just to get a nice uh, exterior and then we're going to finish them off in the oven. Aren't these gorgeous? Those are gorgeous. So after four minutes, uh, you want them nice and seared like that. Just kind of keep an eye on them. Well, when they look like that, flip them over. That should be about four minutes. And then we let them go for um, about another three minutes um, so they're brown Those on look the bottom. great. And I should say, you, you can see that we're doing this in my um, large it's a 12 inch cast iron skillet. It's great because you can just put it in the oven where we're gonna finish them off and then you can make the sauce in there. If you don't have a cast iron skillet or something that you can put in the oven, you can just take the, put these in a baking dish and yeah. finish them off there and then make your sauce. But we're gonna do it, this is a one pot wonder. So we- Which need, is even better. I know, it makes it even better. <laughs> so we've got our uh, oven, oven preheated to 400 degrees. These are close to being cooked anyway. They don't take that much longer. You're gonna wanna have your handy meat thermometer available and we're gonna Put this in the oven and Come cook on. these until it reaches a temperature of 145 degrees, and that does not take long, depending on how thick your your uh, chops are. Probably anywhere. I mean, as little as five minutes could take um, could take up to 10 minutes. Um, but just keep an eye on them and don't overcook them. Okay, that literally took about eight minutes. We're at one. We're just a hair Woo! over 145. 146. So these Yum. nicely cooked. They're gonna continue to cook a little bit more, wow. which is a-okay. I'm just gonna put it right back here on my skillet. Yes. And those look amazing. Put them right here and I'll okay. cover them up. Yeah. Wow. Have your platter ready. We got a big platter for those two chops. I know. I we know. are gonna smother them. I know. Like I said, <laughs> normally you you do four, and it's not that we couldn't eat four. <laughs> 
we could, but um, we have, we have, I know, we have, we did just a few days ago. Okay, so now in the same skillet, again, if you can use the same skillet or get the one you used before, you don't even need to add any more oil because there's some grease that's rendered, it's delicious. I've got three cloves of garlic, I should probably turn my uh, stove back on. And yeah, that would, that would help. That, that, that helps in the cooking a lot, I found. I All right, don't know well, why. that's warming yeah. up. No, it's I, good. It's good. I, I, we've got um, hot ch cherry peppers and we've got sweet cherry peppers. Uh, I just wanted to show you on a sweet cherry pepper how we got out the seeds. So I just so you cut just the find top these, off. They're, they're jarred like this. They've, you find them usually in the section near the olives and pickles and things like that. Yeah, and I just basically go in here and scoop them out with my finger. Now, if these were hot, I would have gloves on because my fingers would be hot and I my know. face would get all the... All I the, uh, never, when we lived up east, I never had trouble finding these, all the sweet pe cherry peppers and the hot cherry peppers. But for some reason down here in Texas, I can only find, you'd think that they would love the, the hot, but anyway, I'm blathering on it. <laughs> you so, are blathering. Um, so, Hold on, I'm just gonna get these all. But I did find um, the, the uh, hot cherry peppers at Whole Foods, but they were already sliced. So that was no problem. So now that, that we've cooked those cloves until they were nice and aromatic. Chris, just give these a rough chop. And I, yeah, and then I've added um, a cup, I'm gonna turn this baby down. I've added a cup of quality, good quality chicken stock. <laughs> now these are the hot cherry peppers that were yes. already sliced. Those are the medium. Or no, just the sweet cherry peppers. The sweet cherry peppers, and then the, these are the hot. Now, if you included those seeds in there, they are hot. They definitely pack a punch, and um, but when you remove the seeds, it really becomes much, much more mild. And But there is still a level of spiciness to it. Now, we're going to add a little briny taste to it. We're going to use brine from the uh, cherry peppers. From the, the juice. So over. we're going to do a quarter cup from the hot... I don't want to get any seeds in from the hot. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. There we go. I'm just going to dump it, Chris. Yep, just dump her in there. All right. And then I'm going to do a quarter cup from the sweet. <laughs> so what I was saying is you may be thinking, wow, that seems like that's really hot. It's got a little layer of, of heat to it, um, which we think adds a depth of, of deliciousness to, to yes. this dish. But if, you're, if you just don't want, you're serving this to gas, you're like, I don't want any heat whatsoever. Oh. You could vary it up. You could, instead of using the hot cherry peppers, you could do roasted red bell pepper, which has no heat to it. Um, do whatever you like, but, but, but experiment. I, I think, or go just go with just a, a little bit of the hot cherry peppers. But I think the the flavor is absolutely so delicious. So good. Now, I've got a quarter, so we're good? You got yeah, all the, I've got okay. all the brine in there. You did really good. So we got a quarter <laughs> cup of chopped fresh basil, and we've got a quarter cup of chopped fresh parsley. I'm telling you, the flavor sensation of this is unbelievable. It is. We're gonna do a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper, and I'm just gonna let this cook. We're almost done. I know. We're gonna let this cook for just uh, maybe a couple of minutes just to let those flavors. And I'm melt. gonna get ready for the smothering. Get ready. Get ready because it's gonna be good. Oh, that smell is intoxicating. I, I'm I'm spellbound. I know. I noticed that. So that went for about two minutes. You see, it already starts to reduce just a little bit now. Of course. Butter. butter. I've got six tablespoons. You can do anywhere from four to six. I like, I, this mm. is a good buttery sauce. Oh. And we're gonna just, I know, it's crazy. So we're gonna just continue to cook this until the butter completely melts. It becomes very velvety. That's gonna go for about two minutes. And then, and then we're gonna smother. To smother. <laughs> oh, isn't uh. that? <laughs> Talk about luxurious. Ah. I, I, I know. We're about to. Can you smother those, we're please? We're gonna smother them, baby. So um, I'm just gonna get some of this. Oh. We're gonna smother a little here, and then I'm gonna smother a little more on oh, there. Oh yeah. Plate. Oh, while you're doing that, I'm just oh, yeah. gonna I'm gonna spoon out some some mashed potatoes. You need some mashed potatoes with this. These are excellent. You, I, we love doing them with mashed potatoes. You can also do this over some pasta. You could do it over some cooked rice. It's it's just you and we don't have it. We mashed potatoes. Mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes are good. <laughs> it's a, this gravy, this sauce goes great with these gravy. Yeah. With this uh, sauce. Yes. With the mashed potatoes. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 But uh, what was I going to say? Oh, and bread. We don't. We didn't get bread to sop up. up that's sauce. all right. We got potatoes. I know. I know. <laughs> exactly. Here you go. You want to come closer to me? Yeah. Let's get a little closer. Let's get a get little, little closer. closer. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Right on top of that. I mean, just want to get that's this perfect. <sighs> There you go. Now I'm gonna put mine over on mine. Yeah. Guys, look at that. 
That's pure heaven. <laughs> now we gotta, heaven. Can we do give, a little? Uh, I gotta give you. The, I gotta keep on smothering you. Yes, please. Keep on keeping on. Bring that all the. Oh yeah, just you can just dump it. <laughs> uh, no, I know you. You can just will. take the pan and dump I know, it. I know. I just get a straw. Oh, some more of those peppers too. Okay. Y'all, isn't that beautiful? But hey, I'm. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. These peppers are to die for. That is smothered. Is so <laughs> the way I love it. That's gorgeous. I know. All right. I gotta give myself a little more. Oh, I'm so excited. And that garlic that's in there. Okay. All right. Are we ready? I'm ready. Are we ready? Are you ready? Okay. okay. Come. On. I'm just talking and I'm just singing right. and. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Of course, I'm always having to do this with my wrong leg. <laughs> with your wrong leg. <laughs> with my wrong arm. <laughs> Wow. Cook perfectly. Oh, wow. You want to cook them until they're just no longer pink on the inside. I know. Oh my goodness. I'm, I can't, I don't know if I can wait for you. Hold on, Chris. I gotta get, I gotta get this meat. Ooh. It's a big piece. Yeah. <laughs> Little mashies on there. Oh yeah. Oh, this is such a flavor. I just, I, I just. Uh, salivated. Yeah. This is going to take me a while to chew everybody. <laughs> <laughs> We're used to it. Mmm. Mm. That flavor! He's chewing. I think I can interpret it. You like it? Mm, the bomb? Comforting? That's amazing. I know, isn't it incredible? That sauce. And it's not- It's not hot. I know. It's got a little, a little layer. A zing to yeah. it, but it's not like, I know. It's so good. Every time you make this, it gets better. I know, <laughs> thank you. Oh. These peppers, you guys. And the and, and then talk about that pork chop with the brining. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. That flavor just comes mm. through. Mm. Everything mm. about it. Mm. 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 <laughs> one little one little more slice. <laughs> you, know, you saw how easy it was. Was it the flow was excited. Mm -hmm. How easy it was to prepare. You just have to oh. you just have to plan in advance. Think, okay, I want to serve this Saturday night. Let's get started on Thursday. No big deal. Okay. I think you have something to report on. That is the end all of end all of smothered burritos. Not burritos, a smothered burrito. A smothered pork chop. <sighs> I'll have a smothered burrito later. Yeah. Oh wow, y'all, this is this is so good. 100000 percent lunar proof. Yeah, baby! It, oh. I, it, you know, it's probably more, but you all are probably getting tired I know, of I know, I know. It. Like he just says that. No, it no, is but... so good, that buttery sauce, y'all. I, I know. And I it is true, anything smothered. Yeah. He's gonna love it, but you guys. And it's beautiful. <sighs> Have we sold you? We think so. All right, we love you we so love much. We love you! Make smothered oh, pork chops. Make them. And you'll be smothered with love. <laughs> All right, bye, everybody! <laughs> <laughs>